Good evening, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to my TV. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for brand new content. This your boy Go Mouth Short. Let me get straight down to business. Today we finna talk about that rapper Sporty T. Yeah, man, we finna talk about the legendary Sporty T, man. Now, a lot of y'all ain't even never heard of Sporty T, man. If you ain't uh, lived in uh, the Gulf Coast, you know what I mean? His music really didn't never too much make it up out the Gulf Coast. But we are gonna talk about him anyways, man. A lot of people talk about C. Murder was a fool with it. They say Soldier Slim was a fool with it. But I'm going to tell you one nigga they left out, man. This is your nigga named Sporty T, man. You know what I mean? That nigga was a fool with it. He got killed, man, off in his FEMA uh, trailer, man, after the hurricane. Somebody came through with an AK-47 and shot 28 times off in there and shooting him while he was in the bed asleep, man. His sister ended up finding him, man. But I'm going ahead and tell y'all, man, some of his highlights. You know what I mean? Wardy started rapping early on, man, like at 12 or 13, man. The nigga got signed, bro. You know what I'm saying? From the Ninja Crew, he got signed, bro, the big boy. Everybody know who big boy is, big boy records, man. You know what I'm saying? The home of Miska and Fiends. You know what I mean? Ghetto Twins. He got signed over there. And you know what I mean? He started a beef with cash money. You know what I mean? He was over there with partners in crime and stuff like that. And then, you know what I mean? He started beefing with UNLV. And you know what I mean? He was going hard from day one. And you know what I mean? Master P, he was messing with the whole uh, big boy uh, records thing because he went down south from Cali and signed all big boy records, man. All his artists, he got all of them. He got Miska, he got uh, Fiend, he got everything from the flop over there. And then what he ended up doing was all the ones that he really couldn't get on paperwork with, he still did music with them. You know what I mean? Like China White and uh, who else he did music with? Uh, Sporty T. You know what I mean? Everybody else, bro, he was still messing with the whole label. You know what I mean? But he just funded them niggas' career. And that's what he did for Sporty T. If Sporty T had something going on, he let Sporty T do his own thing. But he will just give him the money and tell them, go ahead, bro, make the video. Because you remember that song, Put Down Your Soldier Rags? Well, that was made by Sporty T. You know what I mean? And Sporty T was down with the Wet Boys for the Wild Boys. You know what I mean? The Wet Boys was him and Black John Gotti, man. And Black John Gotti had him a, a solo. And he had the song Cutthroat. And that whole album, they dropped three albums, man. And it was all cash money dishes. You know what I mean? These cash money dishes been going on for a long time. They had beef, man. And you know what I mean? These cats do shows with AK-47s on their waistline, man. This man was so street, his baby mama tried to kill him, man. Tried to line that boy up. Shoot him up five times. You know what I mean? He was really out there in the streets, man. And P... Funded him to go diss these cats, man. And he had crazy on the album. He was going by Doc Holiday. You know what I mean? All this shit documented, man. You know what I mean? With Jubilee, Chopper, uh, uh, Big Boy, everybody. West Bank. You know what I mean? Knife Ward. You know what I mean? The whole Gert time, bro. All them niggas was in the same shows, man. Performing, same nightclubs. You know what I mean? And they didn't like cash money. Nigga, you come through that nigga, you fucking with cash money, nigga. Them Gert Town niggas gonna tear your fuck ass up, bro. That's just what it is, nigga. Them niggas over there where Chopper from, you know what I mean? Come on, man. Them niggas cross the bank, nigga. Them niggas gonna get on your ass, nigga. You know what I mean? Because he had downtown fucking with him, too. Them Alvabell niggas. 
Them niggas put a green light on cash money, man. You know what I mean? Sporty T was the motherfucking nigga who was motherfucking getting all these niggas up together. You know what I'm saying? Building these groups. He had 14 niggas on the album, man. You know what I mean? When he had the Wild Boys and them songs dissing uh, Cash Money and Hot Boys and shit like that. He was the nigga that was running down on them niggas in traffic, man. And they already blackballed him, but he was just trying to rob them niggas. If you had a Cash Money piece on and you was a fucking bodyguard or something, you got your ass beat the fuck up, most likely. You know what I mean? You got your Cash Money chain took. Your jury and shit. Because the bruh had kept a chopper. And he was about that. And all them niggas he was fucking with. Black John Gotti. And all them niggas were mocking them niggas, bruh. And making it hard for them niggas saying they dope fiends. And basically all the rumors came out through them, through they songs. That's how everybody know. Man, these niggas dope fiends, man. These niggas wearing each other jury and shit. These niggas fucked up, really. Niggas crackheads basically out here rapping. But that was Sporty T just having fun with it. And, and Master P was fun and everything. And Master P knew the nigga wasn't scared. You know what I mean? Because this nigga already had beefs with these niggas. You know what I mean? And the only reason the beef stopped is because he got killed. You know what I mean? But his, mom, his people, his sister said he ain't had no enemies. But you know what I'm saying? He really did. On some street activity, he always kept females out of his business after his uh, lady had shot him up, got him lined up. But yeah, man, he was a superstar. He was a celebrity. You know what I mean? I'm leaving out a lot of stuff, but yeah, man, he the one of the dudes that laid the foundation. So don't be just saying Soldier Slim was a fool with it or saying that uh, C. Murder was a fool with it. Man, Spoiler T was a boss on his own. Peace, I'm out.